after a very bumpy boat ride <laughs> and a bit of a truck taxi we arrived at our accommodation last night because now we are here back in the Mentawai Islands. We've seen the jungles already so now we're here to see the beaches and we are currently standing in paradise. paradise. We are currently on the island of Sapora and we will be exploring the surrounding islands too. We've hired a boat for the day and we're going to take you to all the best spots and show you how beautiful it is here. It already looks insane. Let's Let's go! just arrived at this really beautiful reef for snorkeling it looked absolutely stunning this island and this beach is just so beautiful we're gonna jump in now and see what we can see underwater off you go <laughs> I am ready to go in We were just snorkeling on the reef here and we saw the beach and we knew we had to come and check it out. It's, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it looks so nice here. And to be fair, every beach, every island that we've seen looks unreal. Looks amazing. It kind of reminds us a little bit of the Philippines. Yes, for sure. Especially Palawan. Yeah, very Palawan esque. Yeah, the water here is so blue. The beaches are so nice, white, soft sand. We're so excited that this is just our morning. Like we had the whole day <laughs> with the boat. So now we're gonna go and check out the Three Sisters and get some really cool drone footage there. This is the Three Sisters, AKA a trio of palm trees nestled amongst the mangroves. During high tide, the ocean surrounds the root and the trees just poke out of the sea, which is really cool. We came at low tide and we got this beautiful footage of us going through the mangroves instead with our boat and look at this. How beautiful are these mangroves? They are stunning. They're just right by the Three Sisters. I feel like I always see videos of people at the Three Sisters, but this is just as beautiful. The water is so calm, we just wish we had a paddleboard. <laughs> Now I think we're gonna go get lunch. It's in one of the towns, uh, maybe about five minutes away, there's a bakery, and then there's a beach on the other side of the island that we're gonna go check out. The wind, don't know if you can hear it, but it has really picked up. There's a reason the Mentawais are known as a surfing mecca in the world, and the wind causes the waves, so it's that kind of time of day where that's really picked up now. We're hoping we don't get too many big waves when we're in this tiny little boat, but we're gonna go get our lunch, head to that beach, probably relax for a little bit now as well. Since the wind picked up, so did the waves. So we kind of had to shelter ourselves inside the little cubby hole on the boat. But now we're at our next place. We are gonna stop for some lunch because we haven't actually eaten yet. So we're gonna hopefully find something to eat and then we're gonna get back on the boat. Ready for some food? Yeah, if it's open. <laughs> I am hoping it's open, it looks closed. <laughs> we'll uh, hopefully find something to eat because we are very hungry. Yeah, there's not many options between these islands. And some of them are private as well, so yeah, we, we couldn't eat there. We accidentally went to one. It was private. And this woman came out and told us we weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> Whoopsie. We finally found some lunch. We've got some nasi goreng. We are gonna eat this and then get back on the boat and carry on exploring. How good does this mm. look? Delicious. How is it? How is your Nazgul? Top notch. Top notch, Enak. <laughs> we had a really nice little nasi goreng lunch and now we're gonna head to one more spot. We're gonna head to Awera Beach. It looks really beautiful. So we're very excited for that one. The captain of our boat said that the wind's picked up and the waves are getting bigger. So we're gonna have to cut the day a little bit short, but we're still gonna have some really beautiful places to visit. Uh, 
Thank you. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Very cozy. Coconuts on the beach. This is, is true island life. Is that your favorite thing in the world? This is my favorite thing in the world. Drinking a coconut on the beach. Look at this paradise. It's amazing. This is a vibe. This is when I'm at my happiest. Coconut in hand, the beach. We just need the sun to get out of the clouds and then it's perfect. So now that we've experienced the mental eyes in full, we've seen the jungle, seen the islands, the beaches. Would you say you prefer the jungle or the beach? I always love the beach. The beach is my favorite place to be, but the jungle offers such a different way of life. Like the way that you can live in the jungle, it's totally off grid. You're in yeah. the middle of nowhere, but you still got that wild, raw <clears throat> nature. It's so beautiful. I do love the jungle, but this is where I thrive. <laughs> <laughs> Completely agree. The jungle is wild, crazy, amazing and beautiful at the yeah. same time. But I always love island hopping, being on the beach, by the ocean. Just be being by the ocean is yeah. just my favorite. And being somewhere that has the best of both is pretty spectacular. We've never really had that before. Yeah. And just being on these Mentawai Islands, it's been it has amazing. It, all. it has everything. We've just loved it. The boat getting here is tough. It's a bit yeah, of a nightmare. If you get remotely seasick, you will be sick. <laughs> you, will be. you will yeah, be. Sick. If you've Sorry ever got seasick you in your life, you will be sick on this boat. <laughs> but it's worth it once you're here. Because you're if you're at the beaches, you're around the surfers. And if you're yeah. in the jungle, you're around the tribe. And both are so like chill in their, and slow in their way of yeah, life. Probably. So it doesn't matter which side you do life is just slower here and that's Which not a bad thing perfect. yeah that's yeah. not a bad thing that's so good but we wish the boat was faster because no one needs to be on there for that three boat and a half yeah hours. the boat to get here three and a half four five hours sometimes mm. but yeah the men's why i think i would class it still as a hidden gem because yes you get the surfers that come here and you get the odd person like us who likes to come island hopping and stuff like that you get people going to the tribe but really it's still a bit of an undiscovered gem yeah, I'd agree. Most of the places that you come to, you have completely to yourself. Yes. The most popular thing, which is the Three Sisters and the Mangroves, they're, they're, at one point there was one other boat and that that's considered busy probably. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's... There's been no one anywhere we've been today. No. It's been awesome. It's been so good. I love it. If you haven't got the Mentor Eyes on your bucket list, add it right, right now. Right now. Do it. <laughs> Write it down. You won't regret it. It's beautiful here. We're going to finish our coconuts, maybe have a little walk along the beach. A little swim. And then we'll head back and we'll show you the other side of the island. Yeah, we're going to rent a scooter tomorrow and we'll show you what else we can find on this beautiful slice of paradise. Let's go. Look at this water. It's so beautiful. Hello. Hello. Yesterday we had a really fun day exploring the islands around Sapporo in the Mentawais. Today we're going to be exploring the island of Sapporo itself and we're going to mainly stick to the beaches in the north of Sapporo because the ones in the south, although they look incredible, they're like a two and a half hour one way trip minimum and the bike that we've got isn't exactly the best that we've ever had. She's seen better days for sure. It doesn't come with a helmet, so we're gonna be really careful. Mum, I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay, I promise. <laughs> the roads in Sapporo, they're, they're really good. Roads are good. She's still got 50% of her mirrors, so we can see like half of what's behind us. <laughs> it's all gonna go really well. I don't foresee any problems. We're just gonna grab a little bite to eat first, and then we're gonna start our day. We finished our breakfast at Bagus Homestay and drove a couple of minutes down the road to this beautiful beach. It's literally right across the road from the place that we ate. 
We are on Jetty Beach and wow, it's so beautiful. We pulled up here yesterday for lunch on our boat trip and look at this water. It's so beautiful. There's some really beautiful palm trees over here and some fishing boats. So I think we're gonna head over this way and relax a little bit and enjoy some beach time. This beach is so nice. The beach and the Mentor Wire are amazing. We loved island hopping and beach hopping yesterday. I'm sticking to the sand. I'm not gonna get in the water. I don't know, Danielle must be superwoman or something. I got stung a bunch by jellyfish. Didn't really materialize until early hours this morning. I was scratching my arms and my legs in bed. So I'm gonna stick to the sand and Danielle is going for a nice relaxing swim. Time to get in. <laughs> Ever so graceful as usual. So refreshing and nice in here. What a way to spend the afternoon. One thing we've noticed about the Mentawai Islands is when it hits afternoon, you get that cloud. It really sets in. So if you want really beautiful shots, if you want to enjoy the sun, go sunbathing, the morning is the time to do it. We figured we'd ditch the bike because let's face it, it was not great. So we've come back to our homestay and we're gonna head to the beach over here. And we're also gonna grab a coconut and just go and chill for the rest of the day. Matt's trying to chop into his first ever coconut. I'm a little bit scared watching you do this, but we'll see. Well. <gasps> Found a new profession. My little coconut husker. I have no idea if we're doing this right. Oh, oh, there's juice, there's juice, there's <laughs> coconut water. There are straws though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Perfect. pop that on the bench. One down, one to go. This coconut is delicious. It's such a good coconut. so beautiful and even though there's not a ton to do here if you don't surf it is still a really lovely stop while you're in Sumatra. We had the boat trip yesterday which was super fun and you get to go and see some really beautiful raw untouched islands and beaches and you're more than likely going to be the only person there. The surf here on the other hand is what most people come here for and it looks crazy. It's definitely for more advanced surfers so keep this place on your bucket list if you're looking for a good surf. We're gonna head back here for sunset later because it's supposed to be really beautiful. After a very bumpy boat ride and a bit of a truck taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you were saying that bit as well. What? This is the Three Sisters, a trio of palm trees all together on this tiny little island. No, it's not on an island, is it? What is our actual <laughs> life right now? That was gonna be way more. That went exactly <laughs> as I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> 